him. You know, one of my favorite figures. And then the old man, and then the old man Logan from the old man Logan and Hawkeye two pack. Now he's not in Fortnite, sadly. I really wish he was, but you know, it's a, it's a kids game, so you can't really add like gruesome characters. Yeah, I really need to get like just a standing stand. I should move this to the side. And I think Goku is coming to Fortnite because of the movie coming out. Of course, this man ain't gonna stand for no for some reason. Yeah, Man Cake just won't stand, so that's annoying. So yeah, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's not like we need both Gokus anyways. So yeah, Goku is shorter, but of course they're gonna make him the same height as Man Cake. And then moving on to the MCU side of things, which I'm not that much of a fan of, but, you know. Here he is with, um, Shang-Chi and Cap Infinity Ward Captain America. Why are their feet like this? I swear, they were just standing normally. So, yeah. Of course he's gonna fall. Um, I think Mancake is taller than him. Sorry. I don't understand why he keeps falling. It's just, you know, a habit for him. And then, here's the movie Black Panther and Quicksilver. And yeah, I got this at Comic-Con. You know, he was like, I think he was uh, 20 bucks. Hang on, let me check that out. And yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, he was 20 bucks. And I have one more figure next to me. Um... It is the Toy Biz Captain America. You know, this is one of my favorite figures. Um, this makes me respect Toy Biz way more. And yeah, he, he's oddly proportioned. He looks ugly, but he's a great Toy Biz figure. So if this was your very first Toy Biz figure that you decided to get after it came out years ago, good choice. Because this guy, he is fantastic. And you can make him flick people off. Just watch. There we go. Now he's a true American. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's about it. And hey, he didn't fall this time. I mean, he will. See? So overall, this is a great figure. Standing is a big problem for him, though. So that sucks very much. But yeah, um, I would suggest getting this figure. I'm not sure how much he costs. He probably costs in the 40s. But if you can find him a little bit cheaper on Amazon. But he might take long to, to deliver. It is worth it. I think he's going for 33 bucks, But I think you also have to pay shipping. So that does still suck. But overall, he is a he is worth it. The overlays don't get that much in the way. So that's good. Let's see. Don't get in the way all that much, so you have a good crunch. You know, he can do splits very well and then kick far and a little bit back. So if you do this, he can kick back. So yeah, this is a pretty good figure. He's pretty much the most perfect and accurate Amazon, I mean Amazon, um, Fortnite figure yet. Um, it's going to be really hard to beat him. He might be my one of my most favorite figures, considering this is my favorite skin from Fortnite. So yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.